Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, guys. Yes, we got stuck in Paris. Uh, we were flying yesterday from Portugal to Paris, and we should have been flying from Paris to um, Singapore, but our first flight was delayed with one and a half hour. So the second flight uh, we were not able to make, we came running up to the flight, and then the following thing happened. But I'm gonna tell all of that in the video, of course, of course also uh, talking about the charts, talking about some news, and updating you about some other stuff. So let's quickly jump into the first part of that video, guys. The first part is here. Yeah. The news. Yes, the news. I'm gonna update you directly with the status and uh, what happened to us. Yes, we, we, so we came and we thought we were on time because the uh, Air France employees told me, Didi, you are on time. You will be with eight people from the Air France flight going into the Singapore Airlines flight, uh, into the uh, connecting flight to Singapore. Uh, so don't worry, every little thing is gonna be all right. So we didn't trust them, so we kept running and running and running. And by running, uh, we thought we came on time because we saw, we saw the employees still at the same place. But then guys, they didn't open the door anymore because the door was already closed. They were like, no, the door is closed. It closes 20 minutes before departure. So sorry for that. So we couldn't board it. We need to go to the help desk. Uh, they arranged the hotel for us. Here's a nice hotel, the Sheraton Hotel. Then we ate some food, but you know, we could only eat for 25 euros. I said that that's like McDonald's food, 25 euros. So we need uh, some more food and we I need to pay it for uh, pay for it myself. It was a huge discussion here in the in the lobby of the hotel because they thought I couldn't pay it, blah blah blah. And then, wow. Okay, so well, because you work with the shorts, they think you can't pay anything. Uh, that's still uh, how it looks here in front, guys. And so I'm gonna walk back again on uh, the other side. Beautiful. It's gonna be short today. It is the news update. Today we're gonna fly uh, from where we're gonna yeah. Today we're gonna fly from one o'clock or something to Singapore. So we will arrive a day later there, but all good guys. The travel tip for today guys is always stay calm. Yes, my hand is shaking a little bit because I don't I forgot my selfie stick. That's in my suitcase and my suitcase is somewhere in the airport. We only got the trolley, <laughs> so that's only my phone and something else. We still need to buy a new t-shirt. Um, but the travel tip for today is, guys, always stay calm. Whatever happens, you just need to stay calm and stay focused. Because, you know, these people are just working here. They can't, they're doing their job. You, know, you can't change what they are doing. Because the only thing you can change is how you handle the situation. And if you handle the situation right, you feel still happy, guys. So we, we, we just said, okay, then, then we sleep in this beautiful Sheraton and we eat fully and beautiful champagne, French champagne, and we will do a beautiful t-shirt tomorrow because Seafran says you can buy a t-shirt. I will buy a beautiful t-shirt because I don't buy shit t-shirts. Uh, so you just make the best out of every situation. Yes, it's terrible. We were, we want to be, but we are going to be one day later, guys, in, uh, in, in, in Singapore, and I'm going to miss one or two huge uh, events and parties. But you know, we can declare all the costs of that. So uh, we just jump on to the next adventure and we try to enjoy the thing that happens to you. So yes, worst case scenario, delayed flight, you miss your connection flight, and then you make the best of it. And the best of it is just enjoy a beautiful dinner, buy a good t-shirt and, <laughs> and enjoy the rest of the trip. That was the travel thing. Always stay calm. This is the first chart, guys. This is the Bitcoin number of active addresses on the hourly chart, seven day moving average, guys. If you can see this, uh, you can see that now the new all time high in the last five months is 59,486 uh, active addresses in the Bitcoin chart. So it's beautiful. So it's, it means that a lot of addresses got active because of the dump, I think, and decided to buy Bitcoin or sell Bitcoin. At, at least we can see some activity again on the charts, guys. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, the second thing is that the amount of Bitcoin huddled or are lost, whatever it is, uh, also made a new world on high. We now have 7,886,939.370 Bitcoins that are held or lost. So that's a beautiful new world on high over there. Uh, this is going to increase in the future, I believe, because more people are going to lose their access to the Bitcoins because they forgot their keys, forgot to back up, forgot to uh, 
uh, get the right safety measures and other situations is that people are now hollowing more bitcoins. They don't want to be uh, spending it too much anymore because they understand it's a beautiful store of value for the future, guys. The next chart is the Bitcoin short-term holler up percent supply and profit. We can see that even the short-term hollers now are in loss. So we have like 83.7% of the short-term hollers, that's people that bought Bitcoin probably around 30k, is now in loss. Normally, during the peaks, we are all in profit. That's why you see when the yellow line touches that red line on the top, the mean plus one year, uh, the mean plus one, it's like when almost 98% is in profit, that's mostly around the bull markets and the peaks of Bitcoin. Around the bear markets, a lot of people are at loss. So this is also an indication that we just left the bear market. We went up, we came down again. This is your moment to act. This is your moment to buy a shitload of Bitcoins. That, is, that shows very clear on this chart, guys. And that is also what the whales understand. Because on the next chart, bam, over here, guys, you see that the whales started to accumulate again. If you look on the left of the all those colorful, beautiful bars, you can see that the top level is that people bigger than that have more than ten thousand bitcoins, and then the level below that one is between one and ten thousand bitcoins. But the moment we turn red, you can see which levels are accumulating bitcoin again, and that massive red area on the top—that's when the wheels are accumulating. So when we bottomed out, the wheels started to accumulate, and now again, because we came down a little bit they again start to accumulate. This is soft accumulation. It's not like hard that we saw in June. In June, you see this massive red area. That's when a shitload of people was buying Bitcoin. Now a little bit less, but still you can see there's less blue than red. People are accumulating. And that's very important to understand, guys. You should be accumulating as well. You should be buying a shitload of Bitcoins. The whales are buying, even the small entities are buying. You should be buying. And I'm gonna jump now into the trading tip for today. Yeah. Trading tip today, guys, is always ignore all the news and media and fun when it comes to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a massive asset and it's a very hot topic. So even the social media is creating a shitload of fun about Bitcoin. They all tell you these lies and they're gonna dump and they're gonna pump and this is gonna happen, it's gonna be banned, it's gonna be allowed again, it's gonna be illegal, it's gonna be all that fuck. Ignore it when you're trading. When you're trading, you trade the charts. You look at the movements of the charts. You look at the Fibonacci retracement levels. You look at way more other stuff than all that media fuck and social media. Ignore all that fuck. Don't pay any attention to all the fake news out there and there is a shitload of fake news but you should be smarter you should just understand that trading is about ta not about all the fake news out there if there is real news yes you need to uh, integrate it into your trading strategy if there is something really bad happening to the world i understand it but don't believe all the fuck that is created in bitcoin that was a trading tip for today Bam. Which brings me to the lifestyle tip for today, guys. Bam, over here. And the lifestyle tip of today is, life is just like a bicycle. You need to keep moving to stay in balance, guys. So yes, for me, it's very important that you don't get stuck in a certain part of your life. You stop moving. You just accept that part of your life as if it's standard, while you're probably forced into living that way because of some voice in your head. And you need to keep moving. Always move forward. There's always more beautiful things to explore. There's always more beautiful things to learn. There's always more beautiful things to see. The world is a beautiful place. You as a human being are a beautiful thing. You should explore yourself. Always keep moving. Don't stop and don't get into this boring old guy that will be in a deathbed and thinking, I wish I would have done. Leads to me the last uh, thing of the video, guys. The last part of the video is uh, answering the question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, how do you handle all the stuff when it comes to your SIM cards? So when you travel that much, we have this uh, uh, normal uh, SIM cards from the Netherlands, still, KPN, that we have always with our fixed number. How we did that, yeah, just ask us. We can always uh, give you a hint how we solved that issue. Is you need to be creative, to not be a Dutch guy and to have a SIM card. But when we travel, we always use e-SIMs. 
so you can get an eSIM in every country. So you can leave your SIM card in your telephone and use use an eSIM. In Singapore, it's uh, Singtel, I think that's the eSIM. In Thailand, you have the eSIMs. So you have uh, the possibility, at least with an iPhone, uh, to have two SIM cards. One SIM card is your fixed one, your, your like your, your normal one, and the other one is an eSIM. So you will be able to use the data in those countries in a very cheap way while not losing your own SIM card. But that was the solution. That was everything for today, guys. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video again. We need to split ways. <laughs> uh, if you did enjoy the video, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave me down below a comment. What do you think? Should Jolie talk more? She's recording a week vlog, so that's going to be live at the end of this beautiful trip to Singapore. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Yeah.